Is this pointless? It is a golf cart battery, yeah. So Tim got sent us this golf cart battery. It's 48 volts, 51.2. And we're gonna check it out, take a look at it, and see how it's made. That should be a charger, or a charger should be there. Is that a metal case that it's in? Mm -hmm. oh. This is a 48 volt golf cart battery with the charger, 105 amp hours. We're gonna open this up and see how it's made. It is in a metal case and the fact that there's screws on it makes it easy to get to. Most batteries, they don't want you getting into them and seeing what's in it without damaging them. So that's nice, I like that feature. Although I don't ever plan on having it open for any reason, but it doesn't hurt. Yeah, well, it's handy if you, sometimes a cell is too bad for no reason. And depending on how this is put together, you might be able to do warranty a, a cell repair. Or do it after the warranty's up, because I'm sure that they would replace it under warranty. That's also <laughs> possible. Welded together. <laughs> Very nice. There's all the BMS. Well, that's a temperature sensor. Temperature sensor. Then I got temperature sensors all over. One, two, three, four, six up. Five, six temperature sensors right on top of the batteries. Bus. <laughs> They are not joking on their bus bar. This is serious bus bars. And they're nice. Look at that. It's got a flexible yep, with a sure. with a give so if it expands or contracts. That's really nicely put together. It does look like it's I have to say that's a really nice and while you could they this is not user repairable because these are welded, a whole system could be changed, like one whole bank. Yeah. These are all welded, so. That's probably 12 volts each row, is my guess. Uh, it's, four, it's a 48 volt battery. Yeah. yeah. 24 each, each row. It's four cells, yeah, it's 24. It's four cells to 12. So you got eight cells on each side. They look, I don't know what brand cell it is. I can't really see it without taking them apart. They're gonna. Oh. They look like Eve cells or one of those type. But that's really nicely put together. Very, very heavy. Yeah, they, they paid attention to how they put this battery together. And that's a good... Is that aluminum? Yeah, that feels like aluminum.
this I can't, this is heavy. This feels, I don't know, can't tell. Maybe it's still. Get a magnet to it, I guess. Yeah, take a magnet's the only way to be sure. There it goes. There it is. I didn't turn it off. I, you have to hold the button, this for three seconds. I apparently didn't hold it down for the full three seconds. It's definitely got the voltage. Yeah. And so you know what I just realized is nice too? It's got a vent. Given that this thing is sealed, it's got yeah. an overpressure vent. And then there's an, that wire that came with it goes to an external switch. So this switch, there's another style of switch that you can, so you can remotely mount it in your golf cart. It's in the other box, I think. There's the power meter. Yeah, it looks like it came with a fuel gauge for it. <laughs> it's got, yeah, it's got yeah, the, and then the remote, remote switch. Remote switch. And that so, goes to the bit, bit to the back of that. Yep, to yep. the meter probably. Yep. Very let's, nice. Let's, let's hook that up. We'll just generically hook it up. Here. Okay. So it's got like a quick connect on it. Little red dot. Little like red your, dot. Your air hose. And it snaps right on. Yep. Okay, now. Yeah. Right, so ready? We'll hook that up there. We got that. Ready? Yeah, should we go try that button? Hold it down by three seconds, the same as the other. Yep, there you go. Both of them lit. Oh, this lit up. 38% charge. Sweet. Zero amps. And. Let's see if it turns off the same way. Yep. Yep, yeah, three seconds and it did it. This is the Bluetooth antenna, so apparently there's Bluetooth to this battery as well. Uh, it's doing something. So it does have an app, and it says we're successfully connected to it. But we're not getting any of the readout on it. We hit dashboard down there, and nothing happens. Let's do a gray screen. If you go to about, it definitely matches. It's it's yeah. definitely the right app. <laughs> That's the battery, or a battery. I'm not sure how to connect to it. It does have Bluetooth though, but I'm not sure how to connect to it. It's, it's not making it easy. But to power your golf cart, I think it's a really cool battery. Um, and dimension wise, it's a good size, and it's 105 amp hours. What was it five five thousand? Normally they're fifty one hundred watts, but this was a little bit more because it was like fifty three or something, right? Yeah, fifty three seventy six watt hours. So a little bit more than than most. We're gonna put it back together, but I think the build quality looks it's really good. quality. Yeah, it's very high quality. I really like. A lot of places skimp and they make these are all flexible so if the batteries expand a little contract a little they're banded because this type of battery is supposed to be compressed and they are banded top and bottom with a steel band that's really outstanding build quality so and then even if they expand everything here is expandable to, to uh, flex with expansion so that's really good quality Hmm. So there's a rubber insulated top there too so the lid doesn't arc out on the top of anything if you get a dent or something on it that could potentially be a problem with the metal case yeah that is but i like the fact that they let you be able to take it apart and see how it's built because most people or most companies are hiding the way they do it and you have to kind of destroy the battery in order to take a look at it and glue it back together. Okay. The charger going now. Let's switch to the battery. Before we tie it in with our system here, we need to get it up to about the same voltage as everything else. It's charging now, it's up at 47%. That's 17 and a half amps going to the battery. It'll take a little while.
Okay, I've had this hooked up here for over two weeks now, uh, running in sync with our other batteries. They're all 51.2 volts, um, and everything's been working as advertised. Uh, loads on it have been great, no issues with it. The BMS has taken care of all the charging. Uh, the little meter seems to be off just a little bit on the percentage of my other batteries on the bank by voltage, but just a couple percentage. My other ones right now say they're at like 96%, and this one says 99 uh, but that's just, I don't think, I don't know if this one has a memory where it's trying to learn everything, but it's, it's been right in line. Uh, voltages and everything have stayed real good. It's been charging and discharging as expected. Um, that little charger that comes with it is great. I can use that as well. This is ideally made for a golf cart, but I've been testing it here with the house solar system. So this has actually been tied into the house bank. Uh, my golf cart is only 36 volts, so I haven't put this in there yet, but we are planning on upgrading the golf cart to 48 volt. Uh, so we got to make a couple changes on it still But uh, this seems like a really good battery for golf carts for sure um, I'm sure this might be some other channels that have done some kind of research on you might want to look into it, but it's been great So like I had mentioned earlier Tim got had sent us this battery to check out and show it and do a video of it for him So it is a promotional video uh, But everything looks really quality on it. We haven't had any issues with it. It's it looks like it's a really good build uh, we're going to put a link in the description here uh, to the product and some of you guys want to check out and research for yourself. But it seems like it's a really good battery and we're going to have it around here.